My name is Octai. Welcome to today's video about the chemical element fluorine. It has the atomic number 9, and this is a picture of the mineral fluoride. It's also called fluorospar, calcium fluoride. And in nature, 100% of the isotopes are fluorine 19 isotopes. The isotope 18 only exists in traces and has a life half life of 110 minutes. Uh, the largest producer of fluoride is China with 5.4 million metric tons in 2021. These are two more fluorine minerals, uh, that's fluorapatite in yellow at the left side, that's calcium phosphate fluoride, and cryolite, that's sodium hexafluoroaluminate, on the right side. This is a picture of the periodic table. Uh, element fluorine is located at the top right corner. It's a member of the halogen group, and fluorine comes from exploding massive stars. A picture of the abundance of the elements in Earth's crust. Fluorine is here. And as an element with an odd number of protons, it has a higher nuclear cross-section. This means it is more vulnerable to nuclear reactions that can destroy fluorine, for example, if it's hit by a proton. Uh, that's why, in comparison to oxygen, fluorine is about 1,000 times less abundant. This is what's special about the chemical element fluorine. It has the highest electronegativity on the Pauling scale, with 4.0. Uh, next is uh, oxygen, and then chlorine, nitrogen. It is uh, so reactive that it uh, can even react uh, with, uh, with heavier noble gases. Known compounds are, for example, uh, krypton difluoride, xenon tetrafluoride, and xenon hexafluoride. Uh, Henri Mousson isolated the uh, first time uh, elemental fluoride in uh, 1886 uh, by a low temperature electrolysis of potassium bifluoride and hydrogen fluoride. And for this accomplishment, he got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1906. At the left side, there's a drawing of his uh, apparatus. At the left here is a picture of industrial fluorine production in Preston, England. And at the right uh, is how we, uh, today fluorine is made. That's by electrolysis of hydrogen fluoride plus uh, potassium fluoride. Potassium fluoride is used uh, for electrical conductivity and elemental fluorine can be stored in passivated steel or nickel cylinders. Uh, this is fluorine, um, liquid fluorine at minus 196 degrees Celsius. And as a gas, it has a pale yellow color. Its name comes from uh, Latin, fluere, which means to flow. Uh, fluoride is important for the dental health and the bone health. And the human body contains about 3 milligram fluoride. Fluoride is added to the drinking water up to a concentration of 0.7 to 1 parts per million, and toothpaste contains 1,350 to 1,500 parts per million fluoride. Uh, black tea, spinach, uh, grapes, and potatoes are all uh, good uh, sources for fluoride. This is an important uh, compound in flu uh, fluorine chemistry, that's hydrogen fluoride. Has a boiling point of 19.5 degrees Celsius and is colorless. The, the solution in water is called hydrofluoric acid, and it was first produced in uh, big quantities by Carl Wilhelm Schiele in 1771. This compound is the main fluorine source. Hydrogen fluoride can be made uh, from the mineral calcium fluoride, fluoride, uh, by adding sulfuric acid, a stronger acid than hydrogen fluoride. And the byproduct is calcium uh, sulfate. At the bottom, there is a picture of the intermolecular hydrogen bonds at, in hydrogen fluoride. Fluorine with its higher electronegativity to, compared to oxygen is a stronger intermolecular hydrogen bond, but the effect is still weaker than in water. Because you have here a mismatch situation, you have one polarized hydrogen atom per molecule, but three free electron pairs. Now on the other hand, in water you have two polarized hydrogen atoms and two 
three electron pairs. That's why it works better in water. That's why water has a boiling point at 100 degrees Celsius. And this compound hydrogen fluoride at just 19.5 degrees Celsius. Cleaning of a metal surface uh, with the acid is called pickling. And unpickling fluid is a mixture of hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid, and water. There's another compound, fluorosulfuric acid, HSO3F. It's a strong Bronsted acid. Bronsted acids are proton donors. Left is the equation how you, of how you can make fluorosulfuric acid from alpha trioxide plus hydro. Hydrogen fluoride. Then there's a magic acid, that's a mixture of fluorosulfuric acid uh, with antimony pentas fluoride. Antimony pentafluoride is a strong Lewis acid. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. And this magic acid is so strong that it can even protonate uh, methane, which gives you the cation BH5. Sodium hexafluoraluminate, Na3LF6, is used as a solvent for the electrolysis of aluminium oxide in the production of aluminium. There's a picture of the Stromswick aluminium smelter in Iceland. Aluminium production needs a lot of energy. That's um, why this factory is placed at a good place, because Iceland is already at 100% uh, renewable energy. And sodium Hexafluoraluminate can be made from sodium aluminate by adding hydrogen fluoride and byproduct is water. This is a formula of polytetrafluoroethylene. It's also called uh, Teflon. Teflon was discovered in 1938 by Roy J. Plunkett. It is hydrophobic and heat resistant. That's why you can use it, uh, it for trays, or, um, Teflon trays. And Teflon is also used for electrical cable insulation. Uh, the synthesis is from a chloroform by adding hydrofluoric hydrogen fluoride. This gives you chlorodifluoromethane. And the pyrolysis at 550 to 750 degrees Celsius gives you tetrafluoroacetylene, which can be polymerized to Teflon. 1112 tetrafluoroethane, Freon 134A, is used as a refrigerant. It replaced uh, dichlorodifluoromethane, R12. Uh, the problem with R12 is the chlorine atom. Um, it can destroy up to 100,000 ozone molecules until it's taken out from the cycle. That's why the Freon 134A is better. But at the same time, this compound is a very strong greenhouse gas. And alternatives are propane, CO2, carbon dioxide, and ammonia, NH3. This is a formula of uh, one fluorine compound in pharmaceutical chemistry. That's atorvastatin. It's also called Lipitor. This compound lowers the cholesterol in the blood, and it has made it into the list of essential medicines of the World Health Organization. Sodium fluoroacetate is a natural organofluoric compound of uh, plant gastrolobium. It is toxic and is used as a chemical defense weapon by this plant. And it works as an enzyme blocker and uh, can be deadly. Fluoride glass is uh, special because it co uh, allows a continuous transmission of light from UV to mid infrared wavelengths. One example is this ZBLEN. It, it's a mixture of Fluorides from zirconium, barium, lanthanum, aluminum, and sodium. Fluoride gas can be used for optical fibers, and this is uh, object of ac active research. Uranium hexafluoride is another very important compound for the nuclear in industry. Uh, UF6 has a boiling point of 57 degrees Celsius, and uh, natural uranium contains just 0.7% of the isotope 235. This isotope is the isotope that is needed for the fission reaction. And this picture shows you a gas centrifuge cascade. And this cascade use, is used to enrich the uranium up to up to over 3.5% isotope 235. This is how this uh, works. 
This is a countercurrent uh, gas centrifuge. Centrifuge. Um, this 235 UF6 molecule is lighter and it is uh, moved upwards and uh, there it can be scooped. And this principle only works because uh, there is one, just one stable isotope of fluorine, that's fluorine 19. And that's why the mass of the uranium isotope uh, makes the difference in this uh, process. This is a more sophisticated uh, version that's called a zipper type centrifuge. It has a rotating ma magnetic field at the bottom, uh, which drives the 238 UF6 molecules um, on the outside. These are in the dark blue here. And at, uh, at the same time, it is heated at the bottom. Um, that pushes the 235 UF6 molecules, uh, which are light blue in this picture, to the top uh, where they can be separated. The isotope 18 fluorine is a source for positrons. Positrons are antiparticles of the electrons. This isotope has a half life of 110 min minutes. It can be synthesized in a cyclotron uh, by hitting pro um, oxygen 18 isotopes with protons. And fluorine 18 uh, can then uh, emit uh, positrons, uh, these are beta plus uh, particles. And this is what you can uh, positrons uh, use for. Uh, you, um, the patient uh, gets an injection of a uh, compound that contains uh, fluorine 18. Then you can make a positron emission tomography, tom tomography ET. And this method is used uh, for tumor diagnosis. This is uh, sulfur hexafluoride, SF6. This is the strongest greenhouse gas. It's 22. 23,500 times stronger than carbon dioxide. Alpha hexafluoride is used for semi semiconductors in, as an inert gas and for re retina surgery. At the right, you can see the structure of the molecule. This S atom in the center is uh, surrounded by, uh, from all sides uh, by fluorine atoms. It is sterically blocked. That's why this compound is so inert. And there was a proposition for terraforming of Mars with uh, SF6 molecules. Um, proposition was uh, build uh, automated factories, then uh, produce SF6 and release it to, um, to the atmosphere. Uh, but this does not uh, address the um, problem that uh, Mars does not have a, a global magnetic field. That's why there is a, a better and more sustainable solution. And this is it. Um, it's a proposition of NASA or a mass magnetic shield at the Lagrange point L1. Uh, for example, this magnetic shield could be uh, powered by solar cells. It produces a magnetic field uh, which uh, deflects the charged particles from the solar wind away from Mars. Um, this would uh, reduce the atmospheric loss of Mars and over time the Martian atmosphere would uh, get a higher and higher CO2 concentration, and uh, with the greenhouse effect, uh, the temperatures would slowly uh, climb up from, today, from today's uh, minus 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, I think that's a very good uh, concept. Uh, this is a picture of uh, fluoride, uh, blue crystals, calcium flu fluoride, and in, uh, the small crystals are pyrite, that's iron uh, disulfide, I have another video about gold, uh, where there's a comparison between pyrite, which is also called uh, fool's gold, uh, with real gold, you can check it out on YouTube. And this picture is from a museum in uh, Milan, in Italy, and uh, I think that's a very nice picture of these uh, fluoride crystals. Uh, that was today's video about the chemical element fluorine. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.